Amen. Amen. And uh, how many did you? How many of you did not hear the story behind the song? Okay. And how many of you would wouldn't mind hearing it again? Would be great. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, because and if you'll put up no longer slaves, and um, and she's got a scripture that she's going to do later. But um, this is this is an, an amazing song. <clears throat> And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the writer of the song. And uh, there was this guy, there was this couple, and uh, she had just been diagnosed with cancer, uterine cancer. And so at that point, she had a hysterectomy scheduled on Monday. She gets a call a few days before surgery from a well-known prophet who speaks into their lives and says, you're going to have a son. And she says, I'm going to have a hysterectomy. He says, you're going to have a son. And, uh, and it's like, you know, if somebody tells you that and you're eaten up with cancer, that's a hard decision to make. Yeah. Right. Right. But you honor the prophet, listen, pray. They, she fasted and everything else. And he says, you're going to have a son that is going to minister to the world and write music and worship songs that's going to touch the world. Or a hysterectomy. That's a tough decision. Because see, if you get pregnant, it really causes estrogen in your body and it causes massive multiplication of the cancerous cells. That's a hard decision. And they prayed. They sought God. They fasted over the weekend. They went in on Monday and said, before you do the surgery, please check one more time. Cancer free. Come on! Yes. <clears throat> Nobody prayed for them. They prayed for them. Yeah. They stood for her healing. And she got pregnant and had a son. They never told the son that, uh, about the situation, nor because they didn't want him to feel guilty or whatever. But they didn't tell him about it. Because they didn't want to hang it over his head. You're going to write music, you're going to write music, you're going to write music. Because he wasn't really musically inclined. And so he goes off to YWAM in Kona, Hawaii. And his parents go out there to visit him. While they're out there, they're getting ready to leave. And they said, have you heard the song that he wrote? Amen. What song? <laughs> he sings this song. He sings? <laughs> They'd never heard him sing. Oh yeah, he plays, he plays a guitar? All this happened while he was there. Because see, you can have... The word of the, the prophetic word of what you're supposed to be crammed down your throat, and sometimes it can cause rebellion. And bound and determined, I'm not going to do as that man told me. This is really it's Adamic nature is what that is. But the point is, and if he did, couldn't sing, they didn't want him to feel like left out. And so at that point, they're getting ready to go, and they said, "You need to hear him sing a song." So they go over and they're listening, and he's singing this song, and it says. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemy till all my fears are gone. Now, did he say that or did his mom say that while he was inside? I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. From my mother's womb... You have chosen me. Say that. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. So you need to know that. Love has called my name. I've been born again into a family. Your blood, not cancerous blood from mom, but your blood flows through my veins. You split the sea, or the birth canal, so to speak. <laughs> So I could walk right through it. My fears were drowned in perfect love. It was their love to the Father that healed her. You rescued me so I can stand and sing. I am a child of God. His name is Jonathan David. Good name for a singer, huh? Very biblical. And so, next time you sing this song, understand you're singing, I am a child of God. 
I was chosen from my mother's womb. There's no way I could be on this earth today. That's me. Okay? My mom got married, married and, and my, my fa- natural father became horrific. And they were together one time with a contraception. And look, but they got. Yeah. Hallelujah. I met my father when I was 16 years old. And I was so glad that my mom raised me because he was so full of uh, anger. And come to find out, cause I, I, his brother was spirit-filled, came to the services. Uh, the, my uh, cousins, uh, they're part of, they live in this Pennsylvania area, and they come to my services. They help me pray for the sick. It's just so fun, you know. And I've learned more about my natural side of the family. I found out about three weeks ago that I'm like half German. I went, really? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I was looking for Jewish blood, but nothing showed up. I was kind of sad, but I'm just totally, completely grafted in either way. Amen. This way I get to live in America <laughs> and just visit Israel. But um, I, I have a lot of things I want to share uh, this morning with you because this has been literally a breakthrough weekend uh, in so many areas. I do want to ask, is there anybody in here who would love to give a testimony and have that testimony go around the world? Amen. Okay, you can come on up if you'll get Jacob, please. Okay. She's got, I don't know how many notebooks she's gone through, but she's been going through a ton of notebooks, just taking notes, which is great. Amen. Okay, now we're going to wait just a minute until my videographer gets in. Sorry. You're okay. And uh, Jacob has many hats, and one of them is videographer. Okay, I'm going to have you move over, then he can probably sit right there, if you don't mind. And there you go. Now what we're going to do, yeah, that's, a, that's excellent. No gum allowed on Facebook on, <laughs> with me. Okay, we're going to make sure you look good. Very excited. Okay, I'll get to you in just a second. She's got miracles happen because she had a miracle happen. Okay, so we're going to start off with her. What we're going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to announce where we are. You say your name and you give your testimony. I'm going to have you come over this way just a tad. And then we're going to watch him count down and then I'll start. Hi, this is Joan Hunter and we are in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. And we have had an absolutely phenomenal, incredible weekend. So many people have been healed, set free, healed in their hearts, healed in their bodies. And we're going to start off with this awesome testimony. My name is Easter Frazier. Easter, isn't that a great name? And um, you prayed for my knee, which was um, having excruciating pain. I am healed. Isn't that good? Yes. I had the left knee replaced. And um, And this weekend you had your right knee replaced. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. 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 I am healed. Isn't that great? Praise God. Isn't that good? Yes. 